Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. Let's have a quick look on the Bitcoin price because yesterday we were forming here this potential support here all along the 9150 level. Currently we broke it to the downside, we tested the new resistance and right now we are seeing the drop towards this potential $8,900 support. So this green line down here is an old support line and it looks like that Bitcoin is respecting this $8,900. So let's hope that we can stay here between $8,900 to $9,900 and wait for a breakout here to the upside or to the downside. Currently I'm still in my short position because I'm planning to close it here at $8,900 in case that we're gonna bounce again from this level in case that we're gonna break through here to the downside I'm gonna add into my position some more shorts because in that case the target could be down to 8,000 even down to $6,000 if the dump is really heavy but currently we are still in this potential bullish pattern and it looks like that Bitcoin is again shifted towards the $8,900 support so let's see if it's gonna hold if we're gonna down to test it or not here in the one hour you can see that currently we're trading again below the 20 moving average so this resistance now here at around 9200 is quite strong and we also are touching again here the 50 level in the RSI so in theory we are now shifted to the downside and we should expect in the next couple of hours here the test of this 9000 to 8900 dollar pretty soon. Stochastic is oversold here but we can also stay for quite some time here or at least try to fight here the 20 moving moving average in the one hour again. And if we go over to the Bollinger Band, you see that we completely retrace back down here to the bottom after we tested here the main resistance. MACD also had a bearish cross, so also here it looks like that we could be shifted to the downside now towards 9000 and lower. And if we go over to the four hour time frame, also here you can see that we successfully tested here the 20 moving average in the 4 hour. This was my target that I also mentioned in my yesterday's video. So if you watched my yesterday's video, this was my target to reach for this little pump that we have seen. We tested it and currently we got rejected. And that's why right now I'm keeping my short open because I still think there's a very high chance that we go down again to retest here this uh, 9k area. Also we got rejected here in the 15. The RSI and stochastic is overbought so here in the four hour time frame it's still looking very bearish at least for the short time frame so I'm thinking that most likely we're gonna test it again and hopefully bounce from it if we're not able to bounce right now from this $8,900 support down here then I think we could be in for a bigger dump towards 8k and lower also in the Bollinger Band you can see that after overshooting it to the downside we retraced exactly into the middle area and also here we got rejected so in theory we are still trading here in this lower part between 9300 down to 8850 dollar MACD had a bullish cross but it's quite flat so we have to see what will come next. Only if we can break here this 9300 I think we're good to go even up to around $9,800 but as long as we're staying below 9300 we should be staying in this part of the Bollinger Band. And we can also go over to the daily time frame because here it looks a bit more bullish. Yesterday we closed again above the 20 daily moving average but we still need a confirmation that the 20 daily now is holding as a support so today we should close above 9150 otherwise we could be trapped here between the 20 and the 200 daily moving average at 8000 dollar and also the rsi is now right at the 50 level stochastic oversold so in theory here we should see a big big bounce to the upside towards the main resistance of 9900 to test it again and potentially also break it to the upside that would be the bullish scenario but in case that we're gonna close below 9150 and stay in this part down here we could see a breakout towards the 200 daily moving average pretty soon and if we have a look also on the bollinger band you can see that currently we are trading in the lower part so also here we need to break this 9300 in order to be again more bullish that we could see 10k again 
but here also in the Bollinger Band it looks like that we could even drop down to 8500 very easily and also the MACD is still shifted to the downside so also here it looks like that we could be in here for a bigger dump and remember that we still have a lot of longs compared to shorts so currently if you are short you are getting the funding rates and also in my opinion when we have such a big difference in longs and shorts then we very often see always a long squeeze so it is possible that we're gonna see a dump maybe even a short lift one but something like this could be in the cards right now so if you're trading with leverage guys make sure also to use stop losses and be very careful don't risk too much of your money the most of it you should keep in a hardware wallet so huddle it and keep it for the long time frame trading is only if you try to multiply your cryptos with small amounts and therefore of course you can do that over on uh, bybit or femex those two exchanges i recommend to you you can find the invitation links down below here in the video description if you still need an account because with my links you can get some sign up bonus and also some rewards over on bybit and femex sometimes i'm also using the prime xpt and bdr exchange also there you can get some sign up bonus and rewards if you use my invitation links so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to give a like and also subscribe to the channel because we do daily ta videos and also you can participate to the bitcoin giveaway that i do with every 500 subscribers and also make sure to join our free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free and everyone is uh, welcome and i'm doing also the live streams over on twitch so make sure also to join the twitch channel so thank you very much for watching guys and we see us all in the next one bye